Welcome to Own Your Look Light. It's an awesome version that's uh, gonna allow you to build your own preset. And I'm gonna show you guys how to actually do that and use the system on a photo. So here we have a photo that was captured to blue. So the first thing you're gonna do is click, click here first. It's gonna apply automatic settings, it's gonna fix your white balance, and it's gonna do some magical things to your photo before you click anything below. So now we have four basic adjustments only. So if I hover over 21, oh, I just brought up everything. It's gonna change all the settings on the right. If I go below, it's just gonna change the settings again. If I go to 23, oh, now there's gonna be more contrast, it's gonna be darker, it's, gonna be, it's not gonna be as open. If I go to this one, and it's gonna change the settings quite a bit. So we have four different options here. I'm gonna go with 21. All right, so now we're gonna choose our favorite S-curve. So when I click one of these S-curves, we have four available. If I click this one, it changes the RGB on the right just that, the tone curve. Now I click this one, now it's a little bit more open, a little bit more colors in the mid-tones and the highlights. Now there's more yellow in this one. So if I go to blue, you can see that the highlight range was brought down automatically. And on top, it did not affect any of the basic exposure tones. So we can go between the three and now you can see the subtle differences. We're gonna go with this one because it looks very good. It's great contrast. And now if we go to HSL, we have some options here for HSL only. So now if I click HSL here, you can see all the HSL settings change, but it didn't touch any of our above settings. And now we can see the skin tones changing, we can see the sky changing, now it's more yellow and light muted skin tones, now it's more reddish. And now we're, we're, you can see we're on the path of building our own look and changing everything's microly, and we get to do it visually, and then we get to see how those settings were applied only to the HSL, so we learn that when the saturation is up 24 and yellow is down negative nine and green is down negative six. And this is a professional preset I use in all my professional photos that I've developed over the last decade. Uh, you get to tap into all those professional tools on a micro level, visually build it on your photo and then learn how I did it. So you get to visually see it and then you get to learn. So that's great. And now we're gonna go to split toning. Split toning, nothing's applied here. And then we can click the first one, add some warmth, um, we're not going to do split toning on this photo. I'm going to, I like, we're going to click that HSL and it looks good. And then we're going to add some grain, a one click grain click. And then if you look closer, got some grain and then we have some calibration buttons too. So if we go to the bottom here, we have some camera calibration. So we can go to, oh, that was beautiful for the skin tones. Go down. Oh, it makes it a little bit more yellow if that's your style and then boom. So. Let's go do it again. So here's our before, here's our after. And that's without touching anything. We did not change any of these settings with our mouse. We didn't need any knowledge to actually dive in and know how to do this all. And look at this before and after. And we did that effortlessly with Own Your Look Light. So let's go to another photo and we can do that same thing. All right, so here we have an awesome exposure shot. Uh, it's a little underexposed, but I was exposing for the highlights. So we click our first button, boom, magically changes a bunch of things. It fixes your photo, proper white balance, good exposure, and some automatic highlight shadows, whites and blacks. So now we're gonna click our basic adjustments and pick our favorite one. I think 21 is gonna be perfect for us. The other ones are, yeah, so we're gonna go 21. We're gonna pick our now favorite S curve, our tone curve. We're gonna go through, we can visually see what the changes are before clicking. Um, we're gonna go with the first one. And then we're gonna look at our favorite HSL. Oh, that one's too green, not very good. 41 looks impeccable. And then we're gonna click our favorite split toning. We're gonna go with that one. And then we're gonna click some green because that makes the photo look great. And then we're gonna click our favorite cali camera calibration. Boom, look at that. Guys, that's a beautiful preset here as before. Uh, before, after, and that's without touching anything. So now the goal, after you've built your own look, you can brighten it up, bring down your settings, play with the settings, and then you can see, oh, uh, he brought uh, the highlights down a little bit and the midtones up and the shadows down, and this is how he got to this look, and you get to learn throughout the experience. So guys, that's how Only Look Light works. Feel free to download it, use it, enjoy it, and tell me if you like it. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.
So guys, that's how Own Your Look Lite works. Now I'm gonna quickly show how Own Your Look Pro looks because it's an impeccable system and I'm so thankful I, I built something that really helps so many photographers out there. So here are all the one-click magic clicks. Uh, so first, you wanna click here first. That's always uh, first thing, look, boom, beautiful, did things for us, fixed our white balance, that's awesome. I'm gonna show you each one-click preset. So sometimes as a beginner photographer, you wanna build your own look, but you don't know where to start. So these one-click presets do everything in Lightroom for you, and then you get to change the specific things. So you can see the differences, the different styles you can go towards, different S-curves, different HSL. All right guys, so we're gonna go with 23 here. It looks great, beautiful skin tones. Uh, did the yellows really well, good aqua teal sky. Now we're gonna choose our favorite basics. So it's only gonna adjust the basics in the photo and we have some options here. And now we're gonna choose one of our favorite creative S-curves. So these ones are a little bit more aggressive, a lot more pop, a lot more colors in the midtones, the greens, the highlights, uh, and pretty good for some portraits and a lot of good landscape photos too. So your landscape photographers will love it, your nighttime photographers, and even with skin tone, uh, they're very manageable if you wanna experiment and see how that looks. Uh, it's very creative, and this is more of the creative S-curve pack. All right, so here's our photo so far. We've only adjusted the, the basics, the tone curve, and now we're gonna adjust the luminance in HSL. Great, so this is our photo so far. Now we're gonna adjust only our HSL option. So we have a lot of HSL here on the left. So boom, our skin tones came alive, and now a little bit more luminance. You can see all the different hues change, saturation, luminance. 8.2, now it's a little bit more yellow, more muted. 8.3, all back to live, a lot more greens, a lot more, uh, uh, oh, now the muted tone green, the muted greens with the pinkish skin, but still good looking skins. This is a very beautiful style that a lot of people go for. 8.5, oh, now the same thing, just more live greens, a little bit more uh, hue change on the greens. And then boom, back to normal, a nice orange and teal look, looks great. Um, now that changes it up a little bit, and it's great because they're just fine-tuned little adjustments and some of them are around the same theme, uh, and some of them are a little bit more muted, and there, there's so many different trends that you can get, or some nice, nice traditional photos that are gonna be timeless. Uh, you can get every single look in this pack, uh, depending on what you want. So I just showed you all of them. I think I'm gonna go for maybe 8.4 8 is pretty aggressive for my style. I don't think I'm gonna go towards that. We're gonna go for 8.7. So right now, guys, here's the before, and here's the after. So that's pretty cool. We haven't even touched Lightroom yet. We just visually had all these, I, I could go bananas about this stuff. Okay, so now here's camera calibration. So if we go all the way down to the bottom, we'll see camera calibration, there's no settings change. So now if we click the first one, go to the next one. There are very subtle adjustments in, this has been a very, camera calibration is one of the hardest thing that took me to master because it's so easy to go too far and do too much dramatic changes and then you're really screwing uh, with the balances between your primary colors. So it's nice having professional tools to tap into uh, for things that work with proper skin tones and getting orange and teal looks. Like look at this guys, this is an orange and teal look a before, after, and you were able to build your way there so you feel like it's your own. It is your own because you built it. It's not someone else's preset and you're good to go. And we're not even done yet. We still have split toning to do. So let's look at all the split toning options. So these are great going through. I might not put any split toning on this photo because sometimes less is more and you can overdevelop it. But the nice thing about Owner Look is that some of them are a little bit more punchy and then most of them are very laid back. So guys, here's a great photo. We used Owner Look. We did not touch our settings yet. Now you can bring up your exposure, bring down your highlights and actually play with the photo a little bit and boom, now with three touches, it looks even better. And if you apply this 
uh, setting to the next photo if for you reset this photo. So here's the first photo we edited and we go to another scene, totally different lighting, different day, and we apply the same settings, boom, it's the same style. Look at the skin tones between these two photos. His skin and my skin look exactly the same. The same channels are the same, the same HSL, and this is how you guys will get a consistent look. You have to have a consistent look to be an amazing photographer. You have to have everything. And now here's at a wedding, uh, and then we are, we'll apply the same photos. Uh, of course, we need uh, a proper white balance. And uh, boom, and now we have an awesome, consistent look. The same skin tones. The skin, same skin tones as the three photos we just edited. And that is so powerful. That's how you make consistent look. And this is before even mastering Lightroom and going in and actually changing some things to uh, tweaking things a little bit left and right. Uh, you can get so close. You can get 2% off of your dream style within seconds. This took me literally 60 seconds to play with the settings. And there's so many more settings I didn't show you. Like our filter settings are so exciting. I can't wait to show that. Like even watch, watch this, this before and after. You put it on and boom, watch the shadows. Uh, boom, okay, so I'll reset the photo first. And then we put on 9.2. Look at their beautiful skin tones. Just uh, have a kiss of warmth. This is a huge hidden secret too that I'm gonna expand if you buy the full Own Your Look Pro. On top, you'll get a bunch of tiny grain, big grain, and other things that if you click, you get beautiful art looking grain that can be over your photos. Uh, vintage grain, paper grain, uh, quick lens correction tool, auto transformation level. But guys, at the end of the day, you can create your own look, build it, you can be your own chef within seconds. And you're taking the frustrations out of Lightroom, you're taking all your pain points and you're done with that stuff. You have all the tools here. So thank you for watching. If you guys are gonna enjoy Own Your Like or wanna try out Own Your Look Pro, by all means, totally go for it. If not, enjoy the Own Your Look Light for now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Take care. I'm gonna go eat um, a smoothie now. I'm gonna go drink a smoothie. So that's, that's my day. <laughs>